We are gonna start with the shopping list for this easy kale miso stew. The first ingredient is broccoli, and normally when people cook broccoli, they just cook the florets. We are going to get in the habit of using all the parts of our vegetables. We are actually gonna work with the stem of the broccoli, which when cut looks like this. Next ingredient is mushrooms. We chose shiitake, and you can sub with portobello or any other, uh, but it gives this recipe, which is a vegetarian recipe, a very, you know, more of a meaty quality, which kind of tricks the palate. Next is tofu, preferably extra firm, which we're gonna cube. And the super secret ingredient is this, red miso paste preferably organic, obviously. It's an ingredient most people do not cook with Yes, it's really easy to use. We're gonna use a pepper, in this case orange, because we wanna add color to the dish, otherwise it becomes like a green smoothie and there's no variety. So orange can be subbed with yellow or red. Onion, red or white. We're gonna use carrots for more vitamin C and vitamin K. Half and half, I'm gonna add at the end to give it a creamy consistency. If you're dairy-free or vegan, you can leave this out and add veggie stock instead. Olive oil, preferably local. This is amino acid, which we use to cook the tofu. It gives it more flavor and consist consistency. consistency. Salt and pepper, and this is a pink sea salt. Sometimes it's called Himalayan sea salt. It, uh, it's a lot, a lot like um, coarse um, kosher salt. It just adds a little bit more punch to your recipe. The most important ingredient after the miso is kale, the superfood. And we're gonna learn how to devein the kale to get rid of the stock so that it sautés into something easier. And finally, we are serving the recipe on a bed of quinoa. And the quinoa can be white, it can be red. And if you don't like quinoa, you can do it on top of brown rice. So there are different ways to cut the kale. You can actually shred it with your hands. Um, I'm gonna show you how to, uh, what we call kind of devein it, which is taking out this thick stalk, because that's what tends to give it, I think it's uh, more of its bitter taste. So I'm gonna take it over here and cut just along the side of this uh, thick stalk in the middle. And you can just uh, pretty much discard this. And then this part here, you can just uh, chop it up like that in small, especially if you're gonna saute it. Just chop it up finely like this. And wash it, because it's filled with dirt. It grows in dirt, so you wanna Kale really does grow it. in dirt, so you need to wash <laughs> it. Yeah, so you do need to uh, Everything grows it. in dirt. Well, not everything, some things grow on trees. That's true. We're gonna start sauteing the onions in olive oil, salt, and pepper. And then, since we have some vegetables that have a thicker consistency, like the broccoli stock, that's gonna be our first ingredient to saute, because we, we want more time so that it's softer. Most people uh, start use, traditionally for broccoli, they use the floret, very rarely. This is chopped up stock, broccoli stock, which most people do discard this. Um, this actually has most of the fiber is in the stock that normally you would put in the trash can. That's what we chopped up. Um, and we're going to start sauteing this along with the onion. Okay, so we're going to start by putting in the aforementioned broccoli stock along with chopped yellow onion. And some people uh, who are like kind of, high, yeah. yeah, some people will do just the, bro the um, onion first and get it translucent, but that's entirely up to you. There is really no exact it's more way. more stir fry, so we don't want it to be completely cooked down. We want to have some crunchiness still left. So normally you'll put this at a medium heat, kind of with the olive oil, and we'll start stirring this around. Onion can, uh, can burn. Onion and garlic, a lot of times if you put it too high, they can, they can burn, so you want to make sure you don't have the heat uh, too high. And you, just and you can actually stir. add garlic to this if you're into garlic. But I personally would. I'm a garlic lover. Not, not everyone is. But however, if you are hardcore vegan or really into Ayurvedic cooking and medicine, you and you want to avoid, um, and you can tell us okay. why. It's a rajic food. If you want to be calm, I don't know what that is. Be calming in your energy, <laughs> rajic. Um, rajic is the fire. It's the passion. It's what makes us excitable. So if you want to lessen that, you would eliminate 
spices, like spicy things, you know, spicy peppers, cayenne, and garlic. So, and onion. And onion. And I've well. actually made this like, recipe without onion and without garlic, and it's still delicious. So. But if you're sluggish and you need a little fire, then, you know, it depends on your personality and where you're at in your life. Maybe you want that spice in there. This one you need to, to like to be fiery and spicy. She's Colombian. I'm a fire sign, so I don't need the extra. Well, actually, I do. And I love my garlic and chili as well. Okay. So we should start as well. Now we take the, um, the, tofu. the tofu. The first thing we want to do is... So normally with the tofu, there's a, it's packed in a lot of liquid. You have to be careful. You just kind of slice into it. Then let's take it over here to the sink. So we just drain the tofu, we drain everything out of there. Turn it upside down. And then the best way to do this, just to get out the uh, liquid, is to put it over into a uh, paper towel. Let it drain a little bit. For cooking, I like to get the extra firm, like firm or extra firm, no? Yeah. Because that way it stays, it pretty much stays intact. Yeah, it's together. You just chop it. Like that more than mushy, like your mushy tea. Exactly. Like this. And you just cut it. And, and then also you want to start adding your salt, pepper, and this. Correct. Amino acids. If you don't eat meat, this is the building block of protein, amino acids. So many vegetarians or vegans will add this to their food, as well as the tofu. And this is great too. They're both fermented products, so you get um, the goodness of probiotics in your diet. Yeah, none of us are actual vegans, but for people who we do have friends who are uh, vegans, I mean, uh, this is a good substitute for meat, like lentils, things like that. Tofu is great for that. So that can sit there in the meantime, at least you have it prepped. And you can add your salt and pepper. There is no food without salt and pepper. So you can eliminate the onion and the garlic, but you cannot eliminate the salt with this. Okay, so just to recap, we put the olive oil, we put the uh, chopped up broccoli stalks uh, with the onion, salt and pepper, just to again recap. They've all been sauteing for a while. Once the onion is soft, um, a little bit translucent. We're gonna add in, this is a chopped yellow pepper. You can also use red pepper it's or orange. yellow. Uh, well, this is orange, correct. So either orange, red, yellow. The K uh, actually helps eyesight, I so if you're blind. The, <laughs> right, it, the what? Oh yeah, no, Isn't vitamin right. K help right. with eyesight? Honestly, it's full of tidbits <laughs> yeah, today. Oh it's very God. easy. The more color yes. in the vegetable, more than likely the more healthy it is for you. So we're gonna continue with the tofu. Thank you. And very Elizabeth key, you gotta make sure that's really hot first. Otherwise it's gonna start getting all weepy and wimpy and soggy. So Because we want to brown the tofu. If you don't hear like a like yeah. sizzle, searing type of thing when you put it in, then it's not hot enough. You can actually test it first and make sure it's sizzling. How do you test it? Wait, look, look. Just throw something in there like water or like, like, here. You can, Ooh, the heat. that's ready. That's okay, ready. So it's hot. And don't let it burn because olive oil can burn as well. So you want somewhere in the middle there. One thing about the quantities that we're using and also the actual veggies that we're using, you can take, if you don't like the kale, you can, and if you have cauliflower in your fridge and that's what you prefer to eat, sub it. If you don't like, you know, whatever it is that you don't like, you can add more miso, less miso, you can add ginger. I mean, this is really where cooking has to be fun and not about recipes. It has to be about what you really like. Because once you, you nail these basics, you can just go. Yeah, it's all about the basics, really. Elizabeth is about to put the, uh, the, the, the assorted mushrooms in there. A little olive oil in the pan and... Uh, Salt and pepper. Medium to medium high for the mushrooms. And the key to mushrooms, again, let this get nice and hot. And once they're in the pan, you don't want to move them. Keep them there, let them dry out on one side, and then wait. Instead of stirring them continuously, you want to just wait. Like let them sweat. They kind of sweat. Yeah, yeah, let them sweat. It's Miami. It's hot. We all sweat. Exactly. And I'm going to keep adding sweat. the amino acids, which Elizabeth was explaining is a building block, right? Protein building block, amino acids. And it's 
it's a fermented product. So it tastes like soy sauce. It tastes actually. delicious. It tastes like soy sauce, but yeah. it's healthier. I actually less spray salty. this on my salads. I make a basic, but that's another show, obviously. But I like to spray this on my salads. Yeah. You know? She also sprays it on herself when she goes tanning on the exactly. beach. Can't you tell? <laughs> I'm trying to, not that successfully, but I am trying to brown the four sides of the cube so that it's almost like. A sort, you know, it's almost like a piece of chicken or a piece of meat, and it's going to stay firm when you mix it in with everything else, right? And because we live in Miami, we like things browned and tan. This right here, all this orangeness, the beta carotene. I I'm going to soak my body in it. Well, yeah, I'm going to uh, uh, toss this uh, shredded grated carrot into this mixture. Again, of uh, the uh, broccoli, the onion, the olive oil and the yellow pepper. Now I'm putting in the grated onion. So a lot of better carotene going on in here. And at this point, since I'm getting the browning desire, we can start, should we start throwing in the kale? Uh, well, I will leave it to the very end. If then maybe the mushrooms just to start just, gelling yeah, the flavor. Yeah. And then I will put the kale in, preserve its vitamins. Smells delicious. Yum, yum. Smells yummy. so good. So this, this is the meat component. Ooh, should we add more oil or no? See how uh, yeah. it goes? Whatever you think, yeah. At any point, if you need to add more oil to have it sizzle and bring it all together, you know, there's no perfect recipe here. Whatever you think, go with your intuition. Okay, so miso paste, miso soup, consumption linked up to 50 percent reduction of breast cancer. Why? I don't know, but that's really interesting. I think it's soup, but, well, one, the soy is I'm just gonna scoop it up, and again, I'm gonna... What is that, maybe a quarter of that? Yeah, but you're gonna, you're gonna, like, everything is your taste test, and you really wanna watch it, because you want it to really, you know, mix in with the, with the sauce. And that's why I added the veggie stock. Yeah, you need some liquid in there for it to dissolve into, right? And at the very end, this, unless you're vegan and you don't want dairy, is going to add that creaminess, which is really good. I think you could start tossing that okay, in I'm now. I'm going to toss this in here. Toss that. Toss we might need even more of this. Before we get out of the water. water. Can you hand me that glass? Here. Bringing it all together here, finally. I'm going to lower my... Um, the heat, mm -hmm. especially if I'm planning on adding the, uh, yeah, just a little bit. More? Yeah, again, if you were French, you would not be adding water, but we're not, so whatever. And then- I wouldn't be adding water. miso either, though. I want, yeah, I don't, there, I don't believe in any strict guidelines. That's the beauty of cooking. If not, uh, recipes would never evolve if people didn't, you know, come up as we are with our own little idiosyncrasies or whatever you want to And this is where you start meeting your friends because I'm going to start dissolving this and I'm going to add a little cream and I'm going to have them taste it and they're going to say, no dog, yummy. No dog, more exactly. salt, more whatever pepper. Whatever you have in your fridge yeah. is fair game. Whatever Throw works. it all together. Whatever works. It's my favorite Another Woody Allen Another great movie, Woody Allen oh, no, yeah. Epic Woody Allen Larry film. David. Have you ever seen it? Oh my God, amazing. Oh my God, so funny. So funny. Okay, yeah, someone needs yeah. to start tasting this. I'll taste it. Oh, and then we gotta we gotta make a uh, look at this beautiful medley. But yeah, see the colors. I mean, it's really like, delicious, rich, delicious. Yeah, gorgeous. you guys aren't here to smell this, but it smells. What? I mean, it smells delicious. Would you add? What would you add? Well, I haven't it's tasted. It. Try it. Let me try. Let me try. I mean, you could add anything. I'm a chili lover, so I like that sriracha sauce. Bring it put on. That on top, but I think we can just serve it mm, when it's served. So yeah. good. So good, right? So yeah, that's a great component for a lot of us that grew up like in the Southwest or whatever, hot sauce or Latin Americans. Um, you definitely can add it later. And also I would add maybe Italian parsley or cilantro. Cilantro. I love cilantro. Great. And if what, yeah. what I would add as well um, would be maybe some red uh, chili flakes, some red pepper flakes as well. But again, this is stuff that you could put on the table and little, you know, have people sprinkle whatever they like. As is is delicious. It's but so this good. This is where personal delicious. and it actually from. has a kick. So that's why serving it on a bed of quinoa or brown rice is going to neutralize it and make it softer. And if you like this stuff really creamy, you just add more and you just keep building your sauce until it's where you want it. And now it's time to sample your hard work and eat. So we're going to take a bowl. By West Elm. A little bit of uh, fluffy quinoa, chopped with protein. Serve that there, and then 
our kale miso saute right over it. Delish. So good. And then you're going to throw in oh. any herb. A Options. little garnish. Elizabeth Optional. has fresh basil growing, These so we are chose fresh that. Fresh from the garden, chopped uh, fresh basil. I mean, obviously, looks pretty, divine. Market. There you have it. Little accoutrement. You could put uh, this. We love this uh, button. Chinatown uh, spices. Sriracha. Sriracha. A little drizzle of olive oil. And then, you know, you condiment it to your own taste. Salt, pepper, whatever. Voila. Voila. Enjoy. Bon appétit.